I hope all you uh, gammons out there are excited. Mm. Excited with Nigel Farage and his contract, as he puts it. Not a manifesto, no, but a contract with you. Well, technically, he is correct. It is a contract. It is not a manifesto, no. Since the Reform Party is actually a limited company. You might have heard that already, but you see, Brexit was brought to you on the basis of sovereignty, democracy. Mm -hmm. Because you didn't like all those unelected people in the EU. Which is actually not true. But you see, Nigel Farage is the leader of the Reform Party. But how can that be? Did the members vote him to be the leader of that Reform Party? No. He self-designated to be the leader of that Reform Party. And why can he do it? Because it is a limited company. And he has the controlling share. Now, Richard Tyslice, he also has shares in the company because, well, he loaned the company a considerable amount of money. And that's how, you see, Nigel Farage managed to oust Richard Tice and become the leader of the party because he has controlling shares. But how is that democratic? How is that democracy that you're all swooning around, Nigel Farage? Maybe you'd just like to see him without his shirt on, dancing to right said Fred. Maybe that's what it is. For you gams, you don't have a flipping clue what you're flipping doing. You told us. Democracy. You shouted it from the rooftops again and again and again. And anyone who questions you about democracy. That the UK already had democracy and, well, sort of democracy. <laughs> if you're OK, there's no proportional representation. And we whipped the, you know, the MPs into submissions. There isn't really any uh, democracy. But you said sovereignty. Well, we're sold out our sovereignty. In the name of all these trade deals, you see, it's not as simple as you seem to think. But simple people don't think. That is the problem with you, gammons. I'm sorry, this is name calling. You can call it what you like, but it's true. If you don't think it through, you are a part of the problem. End of the day, you have an, well, a massive responsibility to yourself, to your family, to the country. You have a vote. You have a democratic vote. Sort of. Like I say. You don't have a proportion of representation, so it isn't technically democratic. But there you go. That's the system that we all have to uh, abide by. For now. But you see, I still do not understand how anyone can consider the Reform Party as being a party at all. It is literally a limited company registered at Companies House. Which must have at least one director and one secretary. Mm -hmm. And then the shares, they get distributed. Now the shares are generally distributed by the amount of financial input you have put into that company. So where uh, did the money come from for Nigel Farage to put into that company? Well, actually, in fact, he put none in. Richard Tice did. He's the key investor. He loaned a considerable amount of money, around five billion, to the Reform Party. And now you see, you now have around twenty-five thousand people. Mm -hmm. I think it's even more than that now, isn't it? Say fifty thousand people who have handed over twenty-five pounds each to this limited company. Nigel Farage could scarp and stick it all in his pocket. Where is the 
diplomatic process regarding those funds? Where is the legal process regarding those funds? Who who is governing this company? They've only got to abide by the laws of a company. Don't know. You Brexiters, you old gits that want to uh, secure your Brexit, so to speak. You clearly do. I'm not thinking it through, though. Why aren't you asking? Why aren't you questioning Nigel Farage? Why aren't you calling him out that his party is not diplomatic? No. You are voting for a company. A company that he technically does not own outright. Voting for reform will disenfranchise the people. That's exactly what it will do. It is a limited company. A limited company that could become the Prime Minister of a country. Maybe not this term, but maybe next term. Or this what Nigel Farage seems to think. But there won't be Nigel Farage being the Prime Minister. He's merely the shareholder of that company. How does this work? How can this be legit? It makes zero sense to me. Zero. Can someone enlighten me? Please leave it in the comments down below. Toodaloo.